Hello students, welcome to today's class. Our today's topic is model short questions and answers part 3 which is our last part of this topic. From chapter 10 to 14 today we will learn. Alright, let's begin. First of all, from chapter 10, Geometry. In our last class, we already finished from question number 203. Today, we will start from 204. Question number 204 asks, The radius of a circle is 2.5 cm. What is the diameter? You know that the diameter is the double of the radius. So, if you multiply the radius by 2, you can get the diameter. The answer will be 5 cm. Next question, what is parallelogram? As you can see on the screen, a quadrilateral where opposite sides are equal and parallel but not no angle is 90 degree is called a parallelogram. Question number 206. You can see a figure is given a parallelogram a b c d is drawn and in the figure it is also given that angle c is 120 degree and question asks what is the value of angle d you know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so angle c is equal to 120 degree so angle a is also 120 degree so total a plus c will be 240 degree and you also know that the angles of all the the sum of all the angles of a parallelogram is 360 degree so angle b plus d will be the subtraction of 360 mi minus 240 so it will be angle b plus d will be 120 degree and if we divide this 120 degree by 2 we will get the, our answer as 60 degree so angle d is equal to 60 degree question number 207 the radius of a circle is 30 millimeter what is the diameter you know the diameter is the double of the radius so the diameter will be 60 millimeter our next question 208 what is the area of the shape below we have to find the shape of this uh, find the area of this shape the area will be as it is a rectangle the area will be length times width so 3 times 1 will be 3 and we have to write the unit as a square centimeter because we are writing the area now another picture what is the value of B plus D here as the previous problem we also know that the opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram so angle c is equal to 50 degrees therefore angle a is also 50 degrees so a plus c is equal to 100 degree now the total summation of the four angles is equal to 360 degree and the two angles are 100 degree so if you subtract 360 and 100 you will get your answer the answer will be 260 degree now question number 10 you can see on the question there are two figures one is a rectangle another one is a triangle the question asks which of the shapes have has opposite vertex opposite vertex means opposite corner point here you can see in the triangle the opposite of a vertex is a side it is not a vertex so opposite of a vertex is also a vertex is in the shape of the rectangle that is the first one Question number 211. What is called the parallelogram whose angles are right angles? A parallelogram where angles are right angles, then it is called a rectangle. What is called a figure surrounded by four straight lines? Four straight lines is generally called as quadrilateral. Question number 213. What is called the chord passes through the center? The chord passes through the center is the biggest chord and which is called diameter. Question number 214. What is the relationship between the radius and the diameter of a circle? 
you know the relationship between the radius and diameter uh, you can write it in both ways like radius is half of the diameter or you can write diameter is double of radius what is called the quadrilateral whose all sides are equal so all sides are equal there are two types of quadrilateral one is called square the another one is rhombus you can write any one of the answers our next question 216 how many diagonals can be drawn in a quadrilateral actually maximum two diagonal you can draw in a quadrilateral question number 217 how many triangles are formed by a tri by a diagonal in a quadrilateral in one quadrilateral if you draw one diagonal it will be divided into two triangles now question number 218 how many tri triangles are formed by two diagonals in a quadrilateral you know that if you draw two diagonals in a quadrilateral it will be divided into four triangles our next question is question number 219 if a circle is drawn whose diameter is 4 cm what is the distance between the circumference and the center of the circle that means it is actually asked what is the radius of the of this circle so the radius of this circle actually the distance between the circumference that means the wall of the circle and the center of the circle so circumference and center distance is called radius and where diameter is 4 cm so radius will be 2 cm now next question question number 220 the sum of the opposite two angles of a parallelogram is 120 degree what is the sum of the other two opposite angles so you have to subtract 120 from 360 you will get your answer 240 degree our next question is what is called a part of a circumference the part any part of a circumference of a circle is called arc what is called the largest chord of a circle you know that the largest call chord of a circle is the diameter you can see a picture in the question if the radius of one circle is two centimeter what is the length of the rectangle here one circle's radius is two centimeters so diameter is four centimeter and there are four circles so four diameter is equal to 16 centimeter and four diameter sum total with equal to the length of the rectangle so here the length of the rectangle will be 16 centimeter if the diameter of a circle is 7 cm, what is the radius? The radius will be half. So if you seven, uh, divide 7 cm by 2, you will get 3.5 as your answer. Our next question 225. What is the summation of the angles of a triangle? The total summation of 3 angles of a triangle will be 180 degree. Our next question. What is the summation of angles of a quadrilateral? The 4 angles of a quadrilateral total summations will be 360 degree question number 227 what is the measurement of a right angle obviously 90 degree question number 228 write a common characteristic of a rhombus and a parallelogram we have to write a characteristics one characteristic where rhombus and parallelogram has both this characteristic so what can we write we can write opposite angles are equal we can write opposite angles are equal in rhombus opposite angles are equal and also in parallelogram opposite angles are equal you cannot write opposite sides are equal because a rhombus has all four sides equal so you cannot write the opposite sides are equal you, you have to write opposite angles are equal next write a common characteristic of a rectangle and a parallelogram rectangle and a parallelogram in this question you can write opposite sides are equal because in rectangle opposite sides are equal and also in parallelogram opposite sides are equal question number 230 write a common characteristic of a rectangle and a square you can write all sides are equal or, or all angles are equal in any one you can write here i have given the answer all angles are 90 degree 
right a common characteristic of a rhombus and a square rhombus and a square all sides are equal write a characteristic of a trapezium trapezium you can write uh, you can say trapezium is also a quadrilateral so sum of the angles is 360 degrees sum of all angles is 360 degrees question number 233 how many diagonals can be drawn in a triangle actually in a triangle you can cannot draw any diagonal because to draw diagonal you need two opposite vertex but triangle has no opposite vertex so no diagonals can be drawn in a triangle our next chapter chapter number 11 measurement all right our next question question number 234 one hour is equal to how many square meter here a r e the pronunciation of this word will be hour this is a unit of measurement actually 100 square meter is called one hour our next question one hectare is equal to how many square meter one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meter you have to remember 10,000 square meter is equal to one hectare our next question one square kilometer is equal to how many hectare you know one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so you have to multiply 1000 by 1000 to get how many hectares and then divide the result by 10,000 square meter then you can get 100 hectare one square kilometer is 100 hectare question number 237 one acre is equal to how many meter square one acre one acre is equal to 4046.86 square meter our next question one ton is equal to how many kg one ton or one metric ton is same one ton and one metric ton is the same thing one thousand kg is equal to one ton next question 239 one quintal is equal to how many kilogram? One quintal equal to 100 kilogram. Question number 240. One liter is equal to how many cubic centimeter or centimeter to the power cube? One liter is equal to 100, 1000 cubic centimeter. In short, it is called 1000 cc. Cc means cubic centimeter. 2 kilogram is equal to how many gram? 2000 gram. Next question, 1 decimeter is equal to how many meter? 1 decimeter is equal to how many meter? 1 decimeter means 0 0.1 meter. 1000 meter square is equal to how many hectares? You know that it is called 1 hectare. 1 hectare is equal to 1. 10,000 meter square. 10,000 meter square. Question number 244. Write the formula to find the area of a square area of a square is equal to side times side and you have to write a square unit because all in the area we write a square then unit question number 245 if the length of the side of a square is 5 centimeter what is its area its area will be 25 square centimeter you have to write a square centimeter next question what is the formula to find the perimeter of a square the perimeter of a square will be 4 times side 4 times side and here we only write unit you cannot write here square unit because we are not finding area we are finding perimeter and which is only unit next question if length of the side of a square is 5 centimeter what is its perimeter so 5 times 4 it will be 20 meter next question what is the formula to find the area of a rectangle you know the area area of a rectangle is length times breadth and you have to write a square unit if the length and breadth of a square uh, rectangle are 3 cm and 5 cm respectively what is the area you have to multiply 3 and 5 you will get 15 square cm next question what is the formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle the perimeter of a rectangle will be 2 times length plus breadth you know in a rectangle there are two length and two breadth so you have to add all these things so their length plus breadth 
times 2 is the answer. Next question 251. If the length and width of a rectangle are 4 meter and 3 meter respectively, what is the perimeter? The perimeter will be 4 plus 3 times 2. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 times 2 equal to 14. Answer will be 14 meter. Next question, what is the formula to find the area of a triangle? Alright, what is the formula to find the area of a triangle? The formula is base times height divided by 2 square unit. Next question, if the base and the height of a triangle are 10 centimeter and 5 centimeter, what is the area? The area, if you calculate, you will get 25 square centimeter. Next question, what is the formula to find the area of a parallelogram? The parallelogram formula is base times height only square unit. If the base and the height of a parallelogram are 10 meter and 12 cent meter respectively, what is the area? If you multiply, you will get the area as 120 meter square. Right, our next question is, the price of one quintal rice is 5,600 taka. What is the price of one kg rice? You know one quintal means 100 kilogram so if you divide the total price by 100 kilogram you will get the answer the answer will be 56 taka next question 100 centimeter is equal to how many millimeter if you multiply the centimeter by 10 you will get your answer 1000 millimeter next question question number 258 the length of a room is 12 meter and the width is 10 meter what is the area you have to multiply 10 and 12, you will get 120 square meter. Next question, the area of Rita's room is 9 meter square and the length is 3 meter. What is the width of the room? To find the width, you have to divide the area by length. So area is 9 and length is 3, 9 divided by 3. Answer will be 3 meter. Our next question, Hia can walk. 3 km per hour, how many km can she walk in 2 hours? In 2 hours she can walk 6 km. Our next question, find the area of a square with side length 2.5 km. So you have to find the area of a square, you have to multiply the side 2 times, that means 2.5 times 2.5. So 2.5 if you make it in proper fraction you will get 5 by 2. So 5 by 2 times 5 by 2 that means 25 by 4 square kilometer if you make it mixed fraction you will get 6 and 1 by 4 square kilometer you have to write the answer 6 and 1 by 4 square kilometer our next question is if reza walks 54 meters in a minute how many meters does he walk in an hour so you have to multiply 54 meters by 60 because 60 minute equals equal to one hour so you'll get your answer 3240 meter question about 263 if Mina walks 200 centimeter in a second how many meters does she walk in half an hour so half an hour means 1800 seconds so if you multiply 200 and 1800 you will get 36 uh, and four zeros and then you have to divide your answer by 100 because the answer asks in meter unit so it will be 3600 meter how many 3 kg students are needed to make a weight equal to 1.5 tons you know 1.5 tons means 1500 kg so to make 1500 kg you need 50 students of 30 kg if you multiply 50 and 30 you can get 1500 kg which is 1.5 ton all right next question a water bottle contains 250 ml that means milliliter of water how many liter of water are there in 40 bottles so at first you have to multiply 40 then you will get your answer in milliliter unit and then you have to divide your answer by thousand to make it liter unit so the answer will be at first 10,000 ml and then if you divide it by 1000 you will get 10 liter our next chapter is time chapter first question from time how many consecutive years a decade decade means 10 so decade means 10 years 
Next question, how many consecutive years is a century? You all know century means 100. Our next question, how many days are there in a leap year? In a leap year, there are 366 days. Next question, question number 269. How many days were there in February of 2016? In 2016, it was a leap year, so February has 29 days. How many days were there in February of 2019? In 2019, where was not a leap year, so the February has only 28 days. Next question, in which century does the year 19... 71 contain you have to remember that the century is uh, just 100 100 years uh, period so from 1901 the 20th century started up to 2000 up to year 2000 so 1971 is in 20th century in order form you have to write 20th century in which century does the year 1952 contain? It is also 20th century. Notice here carefully you have to write the order form. That means 20 and th. 20th century. Our next question. How many days were there in February of 1900? So at first we have to check 1900 was a leap year or not you have to divide 1900 by 400 because if there are double zeros in a year you have to divide that year by 400 if there are remainder then this that was not a leap year so february of 1900 has uh, had only 28 days what is called a period of 10 consecutive years decade what is called a period of 100 consecutive years? Century. What is called the period of 12 years? 12 years called era, which is not in the question. All right, our next question is 276. How many days are there in July and August in total? So you can use your uh, fingers to count. Uh, how many days in July and August both July and August has 31 days so in total there are 62 days Our next question one month is equal to how many hours you have to calculate we know one day is equal to 24 hours so you have to multiply 24 by 30 and you get your answer 720 hours Our next question 278 how many seconds are there in half an hour in half an hour there are only 1008 100 seconds that means 1800 seconds make half an hour how many seconds are there in an hour that means in a in a, a full hour there are 3600 seconds now next question 280 how many days were there in february 16 18 you have to check 16 18 was a leap year or not 16 18 you have to divide it by 4 and there will be a remainder so it was not a leap year there were only 28 days next question how many digit numbers are used to denom uh, denote 24 hours notation actually to express 24 hour clock we use four digits two digits for hours and two digits for minutes Express 1555 in 12 hour clock. You know if the number in 24 hour clock is more than 12 hour you have to minus 12 from that given time and then you have to write pm with the answer. So it will be 355 pm. You know pm means post meridian. Now question number 283. If the departure time of an airplane is 19.20, what we, is the time according to 12 hour clock? So you have to minus 12 from the given time and then write PM. So the answer will be 7.20 PM. Our next question is change the time 9.30 PM to international system of 24 hour clock. To make it 24 hour clock, we have to add 12 with the given time and remove PM from the time. So your answer will be 21.30. Look. In the new answer, there is no PM or AM. 
in 24 hour clock we don't use am or pm change the time 0330 to 12 hour clock system here there is no am pm so it is a 24 hour clock system so to make it 12 hour clock system you have to add uh, 12 because um, in in night time uh, you have to write 12 30 and am so it is at night 12 midnight past 30 minutes so 12 30 and am you have to write am because it is at, at midnight past time question how many hours are there in a leap year in a leap year there are 366 days and then you have to make uh, multiply it by 24 hours you will get your answer 8784 hours our next question question number 287 change the time 0000 to 12 hour clock system 12 hour clock system you have to write 12 because 00, 0 means uh, in 24 hour in 12 hour it is it means uh, 12 at night so 12 00 am express 0955 in the 12 hour clock system 12 hour clock system if the number is less than 12 then you only have to write the am with the time so the answer will be 955 am our next question how many 30 day 31 day months are there in bangla calendar year according to new calendar system of bangla academy uh, from year uh, 2020 uh, in um, bangla calendar there will be 631 days month and they are boishak jostho ashar Savon, bhadro and agrahayan so six months next question how many 31 day months are there in english calendar in english calendar there are seven 31 day months and our next question how many days are there in bhadra and ashin in total in bhadra ashin according to, to new bangla calendar there are 62 days 292 how many days are there in february of a leap year february of a leap year has 29 days when was the counting of leap year started leap year started from uh, 8 ad ad stands for anno domini which means uh, the after the birth of our prophet isa alaihi wasalam peace be upon on him okay let's move on to next question our next question is year 2019 is in which century it is actually not 20th century it is uh, 21st century we all know that after 2000 after 2000 uh, it is it is already started uh, 21st century that means uh, from year 2001 up to 2100 year 2100 will be 21st century our next question year 925 was in which century you have to just add one with the uh, um, with the uh, time of the um, hundreds that means uh, the place hundred places is nine here so the century was 10th century again year 108 was in which century year 108 was second century not first century it, it was second century all right which uh, complete our chapter number 12 already now we will begin chapter number 13 data and population our first question from this chapter how many types of data are there actually in our uh, book there are two types of data given organized and uh, unorganized express 9 in tally mark you can uh, you can see in the picture uh, how tally marks are given in 9 our next question 299 write the formula to find the density of population so population density is equal to total population divided by total area and the unit will be person per square kilometer our next question what is the unit of population density uh, as in the previous question it is already given person per square kilometer you can write person per square kilometer or you can write in short form person slash square kilometer here slash means par and par means one Question number 301 find the population density of a village where number of people is 300 and uh, area of the village is 20 kilometer if you uh, use the formula you will get to divide 300 by 20 and it will be 15 person per square kilometer here you have to write the unit you must have to write the unit with the answer 
all right our next question is question number 302 a locality has 300 people and its population density is 150 people per square kilometer what is its area the area will be uh, 300 divided by 150 you will get your answer two square kilometer now next question there are 440 people in a village having area of 10 square kilometer what is the population density the population density will be 44 square kilometer uh, 44 person per square kilometer you have to write the unit next question 304 the population density of a village is 110 people per square kilometer the area is 5 square kilometer what is the number of people the number of people here will be the multiplication of 110 and 5 because you have to multiply population density with area to get the total number of people so you will get your answer 550 our last question from this chapter in a histogram number is written along which axis actually in graph there are two axes uh, horizontal axis which is known as x axis and vertical axis also known as y axis always the number is written in the along y axis or vertical axis you can write any of the answer either vertical axis or y axis so which completes out this chapter now move on to our next chapter number 14 which is related to calculator and computer there are only few questions remaining question number 306 write the name of a main part of a computer the main part of a computer is cpu or monitor but you cannot write cal uh, keyboard or mouse because if the computer is a touch screen computer then it is it can be worked uh, uh, without keyboard or mouse so you if you write cpu it, it is better for you next question as is a student of science background what type of calculation calculator does he use actually he use a scientific calculator because he is a science background student our next question how many buttons are needed to pay uh, to press in an on calculator if the calculator is on how many buttons do you need to press to calculate 22.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 23 many of you uh, count the buttons up to result but here you don't have to count the result you have to only cal uh, only calculate the digits up to equal sign that means 22.5 here will be four buttons and then plus five buttons and zero 0.58 buttons and then finally equal in the calculator so there will be nine buttons in total but not the result you don't have to push or press the result in a calculator so up to nine buttons you have to press to calculate this all right now we move on to our next uh, question our next question is what type of calculator is needed in daily use or small business is for a small business or in daily use we just use simple calculator our next question is what type of computer is used for space research purpose or big data analysis um, for space research uh, purpose a powerful computer is needed which is called supercomputer all right uh, we have already finished our lecture here from this chapter also end of the topic today we have finished all the short question from the book uh, these were only model short questions you have to practice more and more from the book and remember uh, the more you practice the more you learn and that's all for today thank you all